Hey everyone, it's Jeff Bagelar here from our CNET studios in New York City. April is here, so it's time once again to run down the list of games I think you should be checking out. Okay, April, not the hottest month for games, but a uh, little bit of a weak showing. Still a few games worth checking out. In chronological order, here we go. Up first on April 10th is Xenoblade Chronicles 3D for the new Nintendo 3DS. Does that sound familiar? Well, that's because this is the same game from the original Wii. And there's also a little bit of a caveat. You see, Xenoblade Chronicles 3D is only compatible with the new Nintendo 3DS. Any other 3DS system, it's not going to be able to play the game. Kind of a bummer, right? <laughs> Nintendo, you're so difficult sometimes. Okay, hopefully it doesn't get delayed again, but as of this recording, Grand Theft Auto V is scheduled to finally hit the PC on April 14th. If you've been patiently waiting for the game to make it to PC, you're in luck because it's well worth the wait. Out the very same day is Mortal Kombat X. It's the PS4's and Xbox One's first taste of over-the-top brutal fighting action and of course fatalities. MKX carries the old versus new generation theme by introducing a new set of fighters, including, listen to this, Cassie Cage, who's the love child, if you will, of Sonya, Blade, and Johnny Cage. How about that? Okay, so one of my favorite indie games from last year, Shovel Knight, is going to be hitting the trio of PlayStation platforms in April, specifically April 21st. In Shovel Knight, you assume the role of the Shovel Knight, and you make your way through a series of challenging levels and bosses. It's an awesome 8-bit throwback style that is sure to pull at your NES heartstrings. The point-and-click adventure game starring Elijah Wood, Broken Age, will conclude with the release of Act 2 later this month in April. While PC gamers have had Act 1 to play through, PC, PlayStation 4, and Vita owners will all get the entire game simultaneously. And finally, while it might be a tiny bit of wishful thinking, the crowdfunded Mega Man-inspired Mighty No. 9 is scheduled to release in April. An outpouring of support from the community allowed the game to hit nearly every platform out there. Mighty No. 9 is a throwback side-scrolling platformer that hopes to channel Mega Man to a new generation of gamers, and I've got my fingers crossed that we'll see it finally in April. Okay, so that does it for me. If I didn't mention your most anticipated game for April, you can yell at me on Twitter. That's what everyone else likes to do. Uh, and we'll see you back here in May for a brand new list of games worth checking out. Thanks everyone for watching.